Hi everyone. In this lesson, we are going to look at fractions, what they are and how useful they can be. Let's start by looking at a situation. Let's say we have some friends over for our birthday party. Let's say that there are four people at the party. But we have only one pizza. So we must share the pizza with our friends. So we take the pizza and divide it into four equal parts so that each one of us could have one slice. So how much pizza did each one get to eat? The answer is pretty simple, isn't it? We started with one pizza and we made four equal parts. So everyone got one out of four parts to eat. Let's take another example. Let's say we divided up the pizza into eight parts. How big would each slice be? The answer is simple again. Each slice is one part out of eight parts. So each slice, each, each slice is one by eight of the pizza. We write a fraction as a number upon another number. The number at the bottom is the number of parts of the whole that we make. What if we are pretty hungry and we ate three slices of the pizza? How much pizza did we eat? You have eaten three, three slices of the eight uh, slices total. This would represent, we would represent this, fa this fact using a fraction, with the top number being the number of parts that you ate. Isn't that useful? You could tell exactly how much pizza you ate. Let's say you went to a party and when you came back, you can tell your parents that you had only one-eighth of a pizza and that you are hungry and you can eat more. Finally, let us look at a somewhat abstract example. Looking at the figure here, can you represent what part or what fraction of the rectangle is colored purple? The answer would be four parts out of ten parts are colored. And we would write this as a number four upon ten. Let's try another example. The problem is that they want us to find out what fraction of the circle is colored yellow. To solve the problem, we first count the number of uh, parts that are shaded yellow. As you can see, there are five parts that are shaded yellow. And we write this as the number on top of the fraction. Finally, we count the total number of parts into which the circle is divided. We can see that the circle is divided into eight parts. So we write that number as the bottom of the bottom number of the fraction. So five by eight of the circle is shaded yellow. Let's look at a final example. They want us to write what fraction of the figure is shaded yellow. Just as in the previous example, we need to count the number of parts that are shaded and write that number as the top number of the fraction. Next, we count the total number of parts of the figure and write that number at the bottom uh, as the bottom number of the fraction. We have seen three examples of how to represent shaded parts of various figures as a fraction. You should now use the fractions workbook to practice writing fractions. This is an Android app which is available from both Google Play and Amazon App Store. And it's free to download and try. So head on down to your favorite App Store and download today.